everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and are you ready for an open heavens? My goodness, I love open heavens. I love living under open heavens, being in open heavens. I love when God opens up the heavens, amen? And God is opening up atmospheres and the heavenly realms in cities and regions, not just in church buildings, but in cities and regions. But I want to talk to you about open heavens of provision. Because I believe right now, God is opening up the windows of heaven, as it says in the book of Malachi. But let's go over to Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give you the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, and you shall not borrow. And the word continues and says, you will be the head and not the tail. Can I get an amen? I want to talk to you about the treasuries of heaven because treasuries have to do with banks, safes, or vaults. Did you know that heaven is like a treasury? Treasuries have to do with governments, kingdoms, or has to do with wealthy people. It has to do with someone of affluence and influence. Treasuries, treasures. God has troves of treasuries and treasures and riches and abundance for you. But the Bible says the Lord will open to you. Someone say to me, God will open to you his treasury, the heavens. The Bible says he who gave his spirit and his one and only son, he who gave his one and only son, how can he not? How can he withhold his spirit from you? He loves to give you when you ask. He loves to bless you when you knock. He loves to give to those who have faith in him, who are faithful to his name. The Lord will bless you. Yes, I'm talking to you. God will bless you. He will open up his treasuries and give you things, blessings, revelations, gifts, wisdoms, encounters that nobody has received before. If you believe it, say amen. Number two, the second thing we can see from this passage is, of course, rain. I will give you the rain to your land. Rain stands for provision. Rain also stands for the Holy Ghost. Without rain, you will not have abundance. Without rain, there will not be life. Without rain, the crops, the agriculture will wither and die. God is saying, I will open to you the treasuries of heaven, and I will also send the rain. God will send the rain. God will send the supply. God will send his word and you will be healed. God is releasing the checks. God is releasing the blessings. God is releasing the gifts, the mantles in this season. God will give you the rain to your land in its season. Someone say, this is my now season. God is sending the rain. God is giving provision. God has given supply. The word of God says that he will give supply according to my needs. He is the supplier. If he said go, he will bring provision. If he said do it, he will give the blessing. If it is his will, it is his bill. Are you ready for the rain? Number three, the third thing we see here, and bless all the work of your hands. I want you to stretch out your hands right now. Oof. Look at your hands, people of God. These beautiful, wonderful, God-made hands that are not duplicated or replicated. Every fingerprint throughout history, throughout the human race on planet Earth is different. There's not one. There's not two fingerprints that are the same. As you look at your hands, the Bible says, I will bless the work of your hands. I want you to say this, God has blessed the work of these hands. My hands are blessed by God, which means every single thing you touch will be blessed. Every single thing your hands touch will be prosperous. Every single thing that your hands are laid upon will be blessed, will turn to gold. That's why we should not lay hands on everybody. That's why we should not pray for everybody. That's why we should not be involved or engaged with everybody. Because whatever you touch will be blessed. The word of God says that every single thing that you put your hands to will be blessed. Can I get an amen? God 
is going to bless the work of your hands. Number four, the Bible says you will lend to many nations and you will not borrow. Are you ready to be a giver, not just a taker? Are you ready to lend? Remember, Joseph was a prototype of the Messiah, Jesus, or he was also a prototype of who we are and what we're meant to do and be like. We are meant to be the banks on earth. We're meant to be the givers, the lenders. We're meant to be the temple where we're able to give blessings and abundance to help the poor and to feed the needy. You will be the lender and not the borrower. I believe this year, 2022, 5782, which is the year of the Shemitah, God is canceling debts and God has given supernatural financial favor and provision where you will be debt free. And you'll be able to give, to bless, and to lend to nations. To nations. And last but not least, you'll be the head and not the tail. Let me tell you, God's about to raise you up. God's about to raise you up. And God's about to bless you like never before. The Lord God Almighty is going to raise you to be the head and not the tail. The Word of God here says that I will open up my good treasury to you, the heavens, and I will give you the rain, and I will bless all the work of your hands. You will lend and not borrow, and you will be the head and not the tail. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lin. I pray that this word blessed you, and get ready for the rain, for the blessing, to lend, get ready for an open heavens.